Hello, my lovelies. Here we are with Tarot Lessons 101. How have you guys been? I hope that you guys are doing amazing. I welcome you. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the newest videos going up. For those of you returning, welcome, my lovelies. And uh, let's get into it. As you guys can see here, on our crusade to learning the major arcana, we are now here with the strength card, aka the lust card, the daughter of the flaming sword, card number eight, zodiacal trump of Leo, sun rules, Uranus exalted, Hebrew letter teth, meaning serpent, tree of life path number 19, the I am graceful. This card is about strength through gentleness. Although the lion has the bold or is known for being bold and most terrifying reputation, the woman is the strong one in this picture. She may as well name the lion Fluffy, right? She reminds me of a mother who has nearly lost her temper with her children. She stops, takes a breath, sm smiles, and <laughs> continues on. Strength comes from within. She has the same infinity symbol over her head as the magician. What these two have in common is self-confidence. And follow through if you think about strength. It seems like something that is always kinetic. We're trying to find strength, bring strength to others, learn our strength, and dig deep for it. It is a quality that is all around and inside of us. If we believe the idioms, a pillar of strength, a tower of strength, give me strength, and even a prayer, grant me strength, this card comes from a place of courage. We use it when we feel small or when we are afraid. You'll see it in any reading when you need to be brave. And you can feel reassured that you will find the strength within you. The strength card is about persistence and composure. I see this coming up in readings where the client will need to use really good manners, really put people at ease in order to move things along. Not strong like a bull, but strong as in I can do this. It's about squaring your shoulders and doing your best. This card is strength in a very different way. It is not the woman represents, represented that gives us the strength, but the mutual interaction of the woman and the beast, the reunion that is the strength. It is a major arcana number, number eight. Depending on the deck, of course. Historically, it was called Fortitude. And in the Toth Tarot, this deck is called Lust. The wreath of roses, and it circles both the female and the lion. This card shows us how we tame our animal nature. Because if we don't tame it, it will eat us alive. They are referring to the same snake energy that rises up, the kundalini. This trump card represents Leo, and Leo rules the spine, where kundalini rises in Kabbalah. Its intelligence is the secret to all magical activity. It's the taming of our animal nature through the correct use of the subconscious, because we don't repress. I should say, we don't kill it off, we tame it. We love it. We embrace it. And we allow it to express itself so that it can feel free above her head is the infinity symbol, which we only see back when we met the magician. It shows that she is a female magic, where the magician is mas masculine magic. He is the how to use the conscious mind correctly. And she is the how to use and interact with the subconscious correctly. And it is mostly through the loss of suggestion. That lion is an alchemical symbol for the completion of the great work of transformation or self-realization. It is called in alchemy oftentimes the taming of the red lion. This shows us the way to self-realization, 
Learn how to give suggestions, learn how to use visualization because images are the primary language of the subconscious. You see how she's dressed in white? There is purity to her. There is something very much like the Empress about her. When you have this card in a reading, it is dignified in its highest polarity. It shows that you can suggest into the subconscious properly that in fact you can tame the nature or that you have the strength to go through difficult time with courage and fortitude. When I see this card, it reminds me that everything in life with balance is okay. It is the obsessive behavior or actions that enslave us to our weaknesses or that which we crave the most in access. That ultimately determines our overcoming or our, or our downfall. Everyone has rage and anger and animosity when pushed to the limit. Your natural instinct of attack, to survive, to kill or be killed. It is the mastering of control. It is not of denying yourself, but also not submerging yourself completely that you lose your composure or temper. In the imagery, the depiction, a woman and a lion with the woman looking calm and gentle, yet dominant over the lion. The meaning behind it is strength. It predicts the triumphant conclusion to a major life problem or situation or temptation through strength of character. It is a very happy card if you're fighting illness or recovering from injury. It is a very fiery, passionate card. As with all of our lessons, who does this strength card remind you of? A person or a character from a movie? When I was first learning, of the practice and of the cards, my mentor would always tell me it's okay to show the chosen my true nature, like the strength card. It was an inside joke between us. Something many don't know about myself is that long before I found my practice, I was born with certain abilities. And when you're able to draw in a lot of energy, you must also release it or it becomes self-destructive. Much like I was back in those days, I was selfish, destructive, and I would submerge myself as a way of escapism with mundane things like portraying, like partying, going out, having fun, drinking, and toying with guys' emotions, only to, so, only to show superficial strength. It wasn't through the whole process of my understanding that I came to realization that I am much more softer than what I portray the world to see. And that is something that uh, perhaps, you know, I choose to keep it that way. <laughs> but in reality, I am much softer than that. Portray and allow the world to see versus who I really am. That everything in balance does not hinder our growth or ourselves. It is when we do this in access, I understand that when we suppress our nature, our true nature, in a moment of weakness, it will consume us. We will fall to the temptations, desires, or lust of what we're suppressing or what we're trying to ignore. Instead of doing this, being able to embrace it, to not be ashamed, to not judge yourself for your true nature, but to embrace every single aspect of yourself brings balance into your life. Being able to embrace the darkness as well as your light. It is polarity. It is balance. It is the yin and yang of life. Do not change ourselves to what society expects from us or what your family and friends have conditioned you to believe and truly live in your most authentic nature. You will not feel restricted. You will feel alive. You will feel whole and balanced above all. This is a beautiful card because it speaks of difficulties that you will be able to overcome, doubts or fears that you may be holding on to. If you're going through some situation, health problems or concerns, the strength card lets you know, yes, times are difficult at the moment, but as everything in life, it is temporary, meaning it is passing. You will overcome this. 
you will continue on and grow much stronger than you were when you first started. This is, like I said, a very intense and passionate card. As always, it is a pleasure doing these lessons with you guys. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.